everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're just kind of having a leisure drive around town. There's no real agenda for today other than to stop by our friend's comic book shop to drop some stuff off for him. And then we're gonna have a little adventure together, right guys? I don't know what adventure yet, because originally we were gonna go to Tombstone, Arizona today, but it's a little rainy. So it's gonna be raining off and on all day, which is the start of our monsoon season. Can you guys say monsoon? Monsoon! It's like the two months of the year where Arizona and Tucson specifically actually gets a lot of rain. Um, but technically it doesn't start till we hit above a 50% dew point. We're still in that you know, late 40s, high 40s area, late 40s, high 40s like percentage. Um, but it's supposed to have a 100% chance of raining today around and in the greater Tucson area. So hopefully it's the start of our monsoon season. But we're gonna find some stuff to do today instead. Um, I don't know, we're gonna look at some Tucson things and show you what it's like to drive a Tesla here in Tucson, where we actually have three charging stations now, superchargers, um, on the north side of town, on the south side of town. And then there's actually one up in the northeast side of town, one of the original ones, actually. A lot of places don't have superchargers in the city proper. Um, California, I think, is an exception to that rule just because basically Southern California is one large city. However, there are some small charges in between, and I think it's really smart that they put them on the outskirts of the towns, so that way you don't have to stop in the bigger cities if you don't want to, and usually there's probably going to be more congestion in the areas for charging. So, let's see where the day takes us, and yeah, let's have an adventure, guys. You got a lightsaber. <laughs> oh, Charlie. We meet again. This is a Megatron, but that's a special Megatron because he's uh, reformatted. And the ones that are red, where it says R E D, and they come in the red box. Right, we're at Presidio Comics here in Tucson, Arizona at Tucson Mall. This is a great place where you can pick up comics, books, comic books, graphic novels, toys of any kind. If you like lightsabers, this is the place to hit. You like action figures and toys? Come on now. Can't find them at home? Why order them online, have them shipped to you when you come here and pick them up and hang out with the crew? I mean, look at these guys. Yeah, Only wanted in cool. three states. <laughs> But seriously though, I mean, the amount of toys, Transformers, my kids have a ball here, as you're saying. So we come here, we check out the books. Daddy usually leaves us something too, uh, very begrudgingly to the missus. But I mean, come on, where places can you go to to have the first appearance of Scott Lang as Ant-Man, the first Captain America, um, the big premiere issue for Captain America 100 from 1968, second appearance of the Falcon. I mean, come on now. This place is a paradise for adults and kids alike. And you can come here during the mall hours. Bailey here will take care of you, or Eric or Esperanza or whoever's behind the counter. Tell them I sent you, they'll charge you an extra five bucks. That's how it works. Usually. It's it's a fee for being uh, friends with me, unfortunately. And look, just look at the impeccable taste this man has. Look at that, oh my God. Like Silly monkey comics. Where's a place where you pick up books like that? I have no idea, it's crazy. Like. And they come signed. <laughs> Okay, I always promise to be transparent with you guys. Um, I write mediocre comics and Eric's nice enough to carry them, but they get put in the back because that's where they belong. Plus they're not very kid friendly, those ones. I'm kidding, this man. But seriously, the amount of books they have, they do a weekly show here on the Comic Book Shopping Network. You should really check it out. I swear I spend a lot of my money and my wife hates me at least once a week. Seriously, come check them out, tell them I sent you. Tell them hi. Another successful trip to Presidio Comics. Well, successful for Henry anyway. Always a great time at Presidio Comics here in Tucson Mall. Do you guys like going to see the comic book shop and seeing Eric? Yeah, because every time you leave, you leave with toys I didn't know you had because he sneaks you toys. <laughs> yep. Well, now we're on our way to have lunch. We're not quite sure yet. All I know is I've had a request for pizza and breadsticks. And, you know, a child growing up in the 80s loving the Ninja Turtles. Who am I to say no to pizza and breadsticks? Cowabunga, dude. 
something I find very interesting is this did not start off life as being a vlog or vlog like. It was supposed to kind of, you know, track the progress and questions and everything to do with the Tesla here, but I'm, I've come to the realization it's turned into a, a lifestyle vlog with me, the kids, the family. The Tesla is still the centerpiece, but it's now, you know, how do we live as a modern family and the adventures we go on and the things we do? Um, I don't know if people will be really interested in the long run, but I find it interesting to make it and find it interesting to, uh, well, to quote Adam the Woo, to document it for posterity, because all of our experiences are the same. Um, in fact, I think I know the next thing I want to do. Give me a second. So we're now we're driving in the neighborhood I grew up in, and I don't know if you can tell down the, in the road, that's a sheriff's car. Not much has changed. That's where they've hung out my entire life growing up over here, the time I was born until I was 18. This is where I grew up, my neighborhood. And actually, I'm going to slow down now just to kind of show you where this little carport is and that chopped down tree. That's where the little mobile home I grew up in was, but it's not there anymore. And that little house that was next to it, the uh, blue mobile home, that was my grandmother's. This is where daddy grew up, guys. This was my street. But that's it. That's the street I grew up on, at least street here in Tucson, Arizona. You know, I'm a born and raised Tucson and I'm, I went to high school here. I went to the University of Arizona, you know, and I don't want to say like meager beginnings, but I didn't grow up in the best of neighborhoods. But don't get me wrong, we didn't want for anything. My family all lived on the same street. My grandma lived next door. Like, it, we were a tight-knit community when I was a kid, you know? But to say we were in the nicest neighborhood in the world, eh, not really. But it wasn't like it was the worst neighborhood. Granted, we usually had cops hanging out, as you saw with the sheriffs. But that's where I came from, and this is where we are now. With my family that I love, my wife that I love, my kids that I like most of the time. And we get to travel and do things and, I don't know, just explore the world. And all that directly derives from where I came from. I used to travel all the time when I was a kid with my mom, whether it was to Colorado, Washington, D.C., uh, Mount Rushmore, uh, Wyoming, for whatever reason. Now we just drive through Wyoming. But I've still been there. I'm one of like 10 people. <laughs> so now, when we have the opportunity or chance to go do something or see something, I try to jump on it when we can. Because you never know how much time you have in this life. Um, Actually, right before Henry was born, I actually had a non-malignant tumor called a cholesteatoma that was basically made its way through my skull and onto my brain. And we literally had no idea what that meant for my life going forward, whether I was going to require, you know, if I was going to be able to walk afterwards, if it was going to affect my, affect anything. I don't know. It was just a scary moment. We literally had no idea what was going to happen. And my first thought was, oh my God, I'm about to have my first child and I'm about to leave my wife alone with him in this world. But luckily, I recovered. We're now up to two kids. Henry, Charlie, say hi. Hi. Hi, hi. <laughs> and I just don't want to squander any of those opportunities anymore. I think the American dream is to always provide better opportunities and life options for your children than you had. My mom did that for me, and I'd like to think I'm doing it for my kids now. I don't know, maybe uh, just having a little moment of uh, being an adult and looking towards the future with my kids, but... I don't know, the American dream is sitting right behind me and I like for them to see me doing the things I love, like making the videos on my car, writing comic books, um, just exploring on adventures. And I love that they like to go on adventures with me. All right, I know that was a little off topic, but we're in the old neighborhood. I don't show up on that side of town that often anymore. I thought I'd show it with y'all. Show it with y'all, share it with y'all. <laughs>
but the fact we get to drive each other crazy means it's a good day. Well, thanks for taking a ride with us. Please tune in again to the next time. Maybe we'll have some episodes here shortly. Go back and watch some of the older episodes. Please like, subscribe, share. You know, sharing is caring. We're still trying to grow the channel, see where it takes us from here. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and any video that we make. So I hope you all have a great rest of your day or night. And thanks for taking a ride with us. And let's take a ride again soon.